having a bit of fun. So there's always going to be a ghost or a bug or a raven looking back at you. Frank always laughs at me because I get my basket and I sort of hunt around the house. And I actually do this for all occasions, but um, I've just done that for Halloween. It's one of my most special times. And I sort of treasure hunt around the house and then I come and do something special. So I am creating a little date night for Frank and I. I'm sure he'll so appreciate it. And I bring together some of my small business favorites and I've added to my collection this year. I've got these gorgeous plates from Aloika, um, handmade plates with centipedes on them. I mean, how beautiful are they? Found this from Ark in Cambridge when I went and did a talk there. I was left to my own devices and so of course I picked up some bugs. Beautiful brooches that actually I'm wearing here. They're called Lover's Eyes, they're from Victorian times. I've also got a few more bugs. You can probably see these in my tree as well. From Refound Objects, a company I've known for so many years, absolutely love it. I don't believe in trends. I don't believe in certain styles. And so for me, this Halloween has been all about mixing my keepsakes, so mixing colors, having a bit of fun. So there's always going to be a ghost or a bug or a raven looking back at you. Um, and also just to have that element of sophistication, um, but not taking myself too seriously. And then look at these guys from the York Ghost Merchant. I met Angus on the Campaign Shop Independent Tour over the summer and I might have bought a few ghosts. They sell out in seconds online. They only specialise in ghost making, which is a 600 year old tradition. And so I'm going to incorporate these in my wreath. They come along on a choo-choo train from the till. It was amazing and no wonder small businesses thrive when they concentrate on their niche. Each year something completely blows me away and this Halloween it has to be Sarah from the Edible Museum. Would you believe that this is chocolate, Belgium chocolate? She's a sculptress and she makes each one of these by hand. She paints each one of these and I literally can't believe it. I put this in here and Frank actually thought we had a toad. This time of year, it's so easy to buy tons of plastic and my little ones who I love so much, I invite them over and I try and do it all very differently. Harry, I know though, is going to very much enjoy this one. This is from Christine, who has a company called Sweet Treats by Browns. She's overcome her disability to create a business where not only do they do the most glorious gifts in chocolate, but look at these eyeballs. One is filled with Biscoff, one's filled with full of Nutella. You pop it into some warm milk and you basically make your own hot chocolate. So I know that Harry is going to absolutely love these. <laughs> 